Sorry guys, I don't have a long arm. Hi guys, welcome to the mukbang. Haven't mukbanged in a while. Nope. My name is Jessica and this is Anthony. my husband Anthony. And today we have triangle burger. So let's pray so we can eat because we're hungry, it's late and we, you know, all that. Good. Thank you Father for this food. Thank you for providing it. Bless it, bless the hands that made it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, so I got a single burger. You guys, if this video cuts off, I apologize. Anthony, oh, and hold on. I got We got fries. They're all down here because they kind of throw them in. Too Go ahead. Patty. A double burger and mushroom. Mushrooms. Fried mushrooms. And then we got a fried burrito we're going to share. And I got a corn dog <coughs> in there. So, um, today we're going to talk about traveling with pets. Okay, you can hear our pets. So down there, blank. <laughs> Messing around. So we need a thumbnail. Let's do that real quick. Put your burger out like that. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, so, okay. This was our first experience taking our pets anywhere out of town. We took them to the beach, okay? If you guys have not seen that vlog, go look for it. First thing was, for me, I was worried about Winston because I thought Winston was car sick. You thought? I thought he gets car sick. Yeah. He did. When? Before he got over it. Well, we didn't know that. We didn't know if it was something he ate. Mm. Um, I would look up the symptoms. He had almost all of them. So that was my first thought. Okay, what are, what are we going to do? Oh, I misunderstood. Mm. So. This is before we left. Yeah. So. We just chanced it. I mean, if he threw up on me, then I would just change and clean him up and stuff like that. And. Just trying to make them be comfortable. Okay, so what we did is we bought um, seat belts for them. We were going to buy the car seats, but <clears throat> the seat belts work just as good. Mm. So. Well, I packed for them. They didn't give me ranch. They forgot it. Yeah. What I packed for them was their dog food. We packed, we packed dog food and water in their little cup. And we put it in their backpack. This is for their backpack. So their backpack we kept with us in case we stopped somewhere. So we packed water and their dog food. We packed treats, a lot of treats, and we packed the um, poop bags and wipies. And we also packed their harnesses and their leashes. Barbecue sauce. So that's what I packed for their backpack. What I packed for them, sorry, in their suitcase, they did have their own suitcase, you guys. Wow, well, they had a lot of stuff. I didn't think they were going to have a suitcase, but they did. We packed a big thing of their food. 
We packed our toys. We packed their treats. Mm -hmm. We packed blankets. Because it's the beach and we knew we were going to stay outside And when it got dark. Mm -hmm. We packed their bowls. Their bowls. Food bowls. Food and water bowls. We packed their pee pads. Um, what else did we pack? Yeah, that's it. I think that was it. And that took a suitcase. Like, not a huge suitcase. It was a the smaller suitcase. So, you know, we didn't know what to expect. They did an awesome job on traveling. Yeah, they did. Charlie likes to be in the car, though. Winston, not so much. Winston played me for a fool. He did fine. He did sleep a lot. Mm -hmm. We did pack a pillow to put in the middle of us because we have a truck. And we don't have, any, well, we do have some in the uh -huh. middle, but you can put it down. <laughs> Charlie's right there. And they just slept, they slept on it all the way up and back. So, oh, we packed a playpen, oh. which that helped a lot, you guys. Bugs you can't have this. <laughs> so, should have made them sweet potato. Um, so when we got there, you know, we, um, we t well, okay, on the way up there, we stopped at Kettleman, which is like what? How, how far? Um, about an hour. An hour away. Took them down. We already know them when they have to pee and poop. So we kind of knew when it was time. So we took them down there. Well, we always stop right there anyways because mm -hmm. it was an hour. And they have a dog park there. Yeah. So, from there we just went straight to the beach, right? Straight to uh, Marbay. Marbay. They did good. Well good. Charlie. <laughs> barked at everybody. 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 Every buddy every animal so that it's and it's because he doesn't go out and it's because winston he hadn't got a shot but he's good now so but it was summertime too yeah so because i was taking charlie on walks mm -hmm. and he was getting used to it but it got hot it got too hot so um We had to, you know, kind of calm down and stuff like that. It was just a lot going on. You wanted to play with everybody. Yeah, you wanted to play with everybody. Winston, everybody loved Winston. They offered to buy him. Mm -hmm. So, we went, We went. when we got the hotel, it was a dog-friendly hotel. We'd never been to a dog-friendly hotel. It was pretty cool. They gave him a bag of goodies. Oh, yeah. So, we used some of that. Um, oh, we also brought their dog bed. We put it there. They would sleep in it and come in and out. The good thing is that they actually peed on the pee pads, which was good. Yeah. Um, so, mm. uh, fine. Oh. We did have to keep them quiet in the hotel at night, which was it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard because it was late, and no other dogs were out and and barking or anything. So Charlie and the shades were closed. Yeah, so he couldn't hear, <clears throat> you know, hear, hear them. So then the next day. They they walked everywhere, 
So we basically we didn't get to eat in any restaurant. Well, you didn't tell them about when you were waiting. We were waiting for the food, Where? and they went to the restroom, and I had to pick it up. Well, tell them you were the one happened to you. She was waiting in line for dinner or lunch, and I was taking them for walks, and I didn't have the doggy bag, so. The uh, Winston goes crap first, and it's on some fake grass. Always carry your dog in poop bag. Yeah, and I'm not used to it, so. He went restroom. I had to pick it up because it was a restaurant right there in front of, like, big old window. Everybody was watching him. And so I had to pick it up because I was on the spot. And so I was looking in my pockets, and I had a receipt. I go, oh, cool. I used the receipt, and I picked it up, and I threw it in the garbage can and then we walk a little bit ways and then charlie he doesn't want to walk and i'm like i turn around and he's going to the restroom i go oh man i don't got no more nothing i'm i have no paper no nothing on me and everybody's watching because everybody has their dogs because it was a sunday i what you gonna do <laughs> and they're looking at me and i'm like oh man so i look in my pocket and i had like three dollars so I had to use a dollar to throw his guard, or his 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 restroom away. I used a dollar, threw a dollar away. <laughs> I didn't have to throw it away. I probably could have used it, but then now it's been spreading germs. So always have your doggy bags. Yeah, always have your doggy bags. Ow. Um. Okay, so I guess my tip for you guys is take stuff that you're going to use. Okay, when we went on the beach, um oh, take their shampoo cuz you're going to need to wash them. Yeah. Cuz they, they, they I I took them in the shower with me. <laughs> it was too much. <laughs> oh, lot of sand. Too much. Um take the dog bowls. When we were on the beach, that playpen helped a lot because me and Anthony barbecued on the beach. Um if they were on their leashes, they would have been jumping all over us. So we put them in the playpen, and it helped. We got to eat uh, comfortably. We gave them their treats in their playpen. They were chilling. Um, after we ate, we just took them out. So they were in there for like maybe 20 minutes at the most. Mm -hmm. Not long. Yeah, not long. But, but that's a kid's playpen. Yeah, it's a kid's playpen. They make them for dogs? They make stuff for dogs. So... Either or, it worked, okay? Um, I recommend you take their dog bowls because the, the, the dog... I didn't see my nose. <laughs> the dog, the hotel that was... Um, <coughs> one of the hotels that was dog friendly provided the bowl. <coughs> Excuse me, but... Motel you, 6? No, the first one. Um, um, well, say it so that they know which one it is. I don't know what it's what the it's name is. It's called Bayfront Inn. Okay, there you go. Bayfront Inn at Morro Bay. There you go. It was good. I, I recommend yeah, it. Yeah, they they um have the dog bowls there, but we didn't. We brought our own. Um. They charge thirty extra for two dogs. Mm -hmm. Motel Six. Motel Six. Don't did. charge. Um, this was the Motel Six. It used to be the Ocean Breeze Inn, so it's right by the ocean. Up to two dogs. Mm-hmm. Take, um, oh, okay. I would take another chair or something like a cot for them because at night they wanted to lay down, you know. So Anthony <laughs> gave up his chair for Charlie, and I was just oh, carrying on Winston. the beach. Yeah, you didn't say on the beach. That's what I just said. Okay, I thought you were talking <clears> about the room still. No. And um, we'll push rewind on the beach. I'm talking about on the beach. Other than that, you guys just take what you need, take what you think you need. I we used everything we took, yeah. We were not over prepared. Oh, yeah. I I don't think would you change anything? No, no, because I like the rooms that we stayed in. I, I, I like the Motel 6. Um, it was a little bit more spacious. You are giving up, like but the if, Bayfront Inn was a good if, if, spot. If too. you're used to eating at restaurants, and and you want to eat at a restaurant, don't take your pets. You know because you can't eat at a, a restaurant. With Unless you take it out. Yeah, we took our food out. So 
which we didn't mind because we were excited we, to take them. We've you been know? doing that though. Yeah, but like we've been doing that already. We go get our food, <laughs> and then we take it to the beach and eat it. Mm. Does it taste like the fair? Mm -hmm. No, it don't. Take a bite. It don't look like a virtual bite, not a real one. See? Bite. They're over there. Um, I don't think I would change anything. I think I would take everything that I wanted to take. But like I was saying, no, I there's really one thing we would do. There's one thing we would do. Hmm. That thing where it closes the men. You you showed mm -hmm. me. What's that? I, I don't know. I'm so the playpen is for dog. It's this like big old tent thing, but it's for dogs. They can see out and everything, but they're enclosed inside. So that's it. But if you can't take a playpen, it works. I wouldn't change anything, nope. except you know. I mean. Like I said, you're not you're not gonna be able to eat at a restaurant. You should just take it and go eat on the beach. Mm -hmm. Um, that's what we did. We took all our food and on the beach. We had. But them that's on... in Pismo though too. Yeah, this is in well, at, more the beach, beach, at the beach. Yeah, but we drove on the beach. Did if you like this? If you haven't seen the video, look up the video because when we say eat on the beach, it's literally eating on driving on the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took a bite. Why? Okay. I remember. It tasted in my mouth. But yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. Um, don't overpack, you know, but just take what they use here at home. Yeah, what they use here at home, they're going to use over there. Yeah, they're going to use over there. Don't be scared. It's, I mean, it's like having a kid, <clears throat> you know, but the kid, they don't talk back to you <laughs> or, <laughs> or cry, <laughs> you know, um, and it's fun. You know, we took them shopping and, and you know, Anthony, we we each had a part, you know. And, and so you have to it, take somebody that's going to help you, you know. Yeah. Um, Unless you leave them in the car, but we don't do that. Yeah, we don't do that. So, yeah, I would not take. I would not change anything. And I will take them again. I will not go to the beach without them because they're our babies. So, good yeah i'm gonna end this before it cuts off so that's why i'm kind of rushing but if you guys have any questions comment below and um let me know maybe i missed something i can answer for you guys for you or anthony can answer so yeah don't be afraid to take your pets on vacation with you it's fun it's a good time people will love them oh yeah yeah <laughs> All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. God bless. Let me get up. Hit that button right Go, there. go, gadget arm.